One of our patients was interested in the very specific question that comes up quite frequently in the sleep medical uh, environment, and that is what happens to leg jerks when you start with PAP therapy, uh, whether it's CPAP, BPAP, auto BPAP, ASV therapy. Should the sleep breathing treatment actually do something to the leg jerks? And this is a very important uh, area of research that I think is under-researched because most sleep doctors will tell you that a fair number of patients with leg jerks will actually see them go away, completely dissipate, uh, just with the use of PAP therapy. There are other patients where they do not go away. In fact, they continue to disrupt sleep and actually make it difficult for the patient to enjoy any benefits from the PAP therapy device. So in our model of practice, we will rarely start someone on medication for leg jerks because most of them also have sleep apnea and we want to treat that first and see what happens. There are exceptions, people who've had a very long and clear history of restless leg syndrome and leg jerks were more likely to consider the medication early on. But since we see many more patients reduce the number of leg jerks by treating the sleep apnea, we want to wait to see if that doesn't happen because if it didn't, then we'd be curious to see if that is now a secondary problem as part of the uh, overall sleep disturbance. The patient would then need medication in addition to needing PAP therapy. So our, our timeline is much more gradual on that, but certainly our instruction to each patient is please monitor any leg movement activity in the first few months of using PAP therapy.